A popular online pharmacy stopped operating today after federal investigators tracked counterfeit cancer drugs and other unapproved pharmaceuticals to the site. Consumer investigator Jason Knowles found that some people looking for savings may not always know about legal and safety concerns. Jason. They may not, Judy. The online pharmacy will shut down today. Buying personal medication overseas online is illegal and comes with possible health risks. But some local patients say they were willing to turn to the Internet to save money. Cherie Rothstein has asthma and severe allergies, so she depends on her inhaler to breathe. Extreme shortness of breath. It will be very, we live on upstairs, there's two floors up. We'll try that one on. But as longtime small business owners of this Crystal Lake clothing store, we are the quintessential mom and pop shop. She and her husband pay for their own health insurance. My wife's health insurance still costs $900 a month with a huge deductible. And that means they also pay more for medications like Cherie's inhalant, Simbacort. The cost in the United States was very prohibitive. Each month, it would have cost me close to 400 So she turned to the popular site, CanadaDrugs.com, to save one-third of the amount. But Canada Drugs shut down its website today as part of a plea deal. A federal investigation found the company imported counterfeit cancer drugs and unapproved pharmaceuticals into the United States. Canada Drugs pleaded guilty to federal charges of distributing two cancer drugs that investigators say had no active ingredient. The company was fined $34 million. It's illegal for an individual to buy drugs from Canada, but if a person has a prescription and buys in personal use quantities, the FDA will not enforce the law. And some people take the risk of ending up with counterfeit or non-FDA approved drugs. When people uh, have to choose between food and prescriptions, uh, that's not right. AstraZeneca, the manufacturer of Simbacorp, told the I-Team its goal is to provide affordable access to AstraZeneca products and that it has savings programs available for people who qualify. Canada Drugs says it will ship the last orders to patients today. If you're buying online, a pharmacy should require a doctor's prescription. And for it to be legal, it must have a U.S. address and a U.S. phone number. You can always try to reduce the cost of medications by seeing if there are these manufacturer discounts. Mm, okay. You can ask your pharmacist. You can ask your manufacturer. That may help. I've heard of people that have done this, and it has worked. We have some more tips on our website. Very good information. Thanks, Jason. Thanks, Jay.